let's come to e now now e uh, you have to first identify which reaction this is this is perhaps the fourth reaction that we have studied in method of preparation of ketone uh, i guess this is pinacol pinacolone rearrangement if you remember the first part then when we add magnesium that will result in anionic form of pinacol and when you add express s2o i told you that that pinacol will rearrange into pinacolone so E must be pinacolone because we are, you are adding H plus S2 that will result in rearrangement of pinacol. So E is pinacolone. First of all, C is this. When you do pinacol formation, pinacol will look like this. The anionic form of pinacol, you have a hydrogen, will look like this. When you add H plus, this will be neutralized. Hydrogen will be added here. Now when you go for pinacol, pinacolone rearrangement, then first of all H plus will come here, the water, removal of water. So this water will be removed from here. There's a plus charge on this carbon, plus charge will die to come on this carbon because this carbon is directly attached with oxygen. So when plus charge comes on this carbon, there's a quick formation of C double bond O. Now the plus charge to come on this carbon, one group has to be migrated, either hydrogen or phenyl. Hydrogen has highest migratory aptitude. We have ha we had this discussion before. So hydrogen will migrate. H minus will migrate. The C plus will form a bond with hydrogen. H comes here, plus charge comes here, and there's a bond formation like this. So this is what uh, E must be. So E must be this. This is what E is. E is done. Now come to D. D is simple federal craft acylation. This is from hydrocarbon chapter. But we studied this reaction. This reaction was the, perhaps the first reaction that we studied for method of preparation of ketones. So we revised it before. Right? So I'm playing given. I didn't give you anything outside this chapter. So if you studied all the reaction, you must be enjoying this conversion. From D to acetophenone, you have been your acetophenone is, is this, this part, COCH3 is going to go outside the ring to give you acetophenone. And acetophenone minus CH3CO gives you that phenyl ring. So D is nothing but a good looking smart benzene. A good looking smart aromatic stable benzene. This is what D is. D is done. E is done. Now F. What is F? On F, uh, on A, you are adding sodium. What is A? A is this. When you add sodium on this, what will happen? Sodium is an active metal. It loses electron. That electron has to go somewhere. Who gains electron? The part that is, ha that has a positive end, that gains electron. Who has positive end here? This hydrogen is electronegative, is, is, is active hydrogen because it is attached to electronegative carbon. Now this carbon, has electronegativity higher than nitrogen. We had this discussion before because this carbon is sp hybridized on it and it has percentage s character of 50%. So because of high percentage s character, the electronegativity value increases. Carbon is least electronegative when we say that is on in sp hybridization, sp3 hybridization state. Here the carbon is on in sp hybridization state, electronegativity value is high. So it attracts electronic density from hydrogen and makes this hydrogen divide of its electron. So in that case, what happens when active hydrogen reacts with and reacts with sodium metal or any other active metal? We we have seen this before. This that H plus gains one electron, form H dot, two H dot combine to give you hydrogen gas. So there will be a evolution of hydrogen gas. When H plus comes out, this gives you a C minus on this carbon, a negative charge develops on this carbon. So a conjugate base remains. So although I have given you one product here, F, apart from F, there will be a hydrogen gas. So we don't show, I'm interested only in organic product. We generally don't show those gases. I could have shown, but I chose not to. But this F you won't choose as hydrogen gas. This F has to be a major organic product. So this hydrogen gas will be evolved when you add sodium 
and when hydrogen gas is evolved what remains here is this anion and apart from there this you will have a sodium ion now when we add methyl iodide now when we this methyl iodine is a very 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 good leaving group so there will be a simple substitution via sn2 mechanism this acts as a nucleophile it will have a backside attack on methyl and from the front iodine will leave so what f will turn out to be is this fine now from f we are having two kinds of reactions in one you are having hydroboration oxidation and another is simple hydration these are the last two reactions that we have studied up till now in this case there will be a Markovnikov addition in this case there will be a anti Markovnikov addition as we have seen so the, they both will result in ketone but the with the difference that this will be a Markovnikov addition that means the plus charge will be developed on a more on an internal carbon the plus charge here also develops on an internal carbon but the difference being the here the oxygen atom is attached to the carbon where the plus charge is developed so the oxygen or the c double bond o is developed on internal carbon or the carbon having more stability having more electron stabilization effect here if you remember what happens in hydroboration the boron forms a bond with carbon and later that bond is broken and oxygen forms the bond with carbon so the carbon which is having lesser electron stabilization effect that will have c double bond o so if this is the reactant that you are beginning with this carbon if i name it as one two three the carbon number three is having more st electron stabilization effect because carbon number three is attached with phenyl and phenyl there could be resonance with that phenyl ring so carbon number three when you have a when you have hydration through H plus S two H G plus two, then it will follow Markovnikov addition. So carbon number three will have a plus charge, and water will attack on carbon number three. I'm not writing the mechanism, hoping that you know the mechanism, and hoping that if you don't know the mechanism, you'll go to the reaction number last two reaction that we have studied. So the plus charge will develop on carbon number three. Oxygen will get attached to carbon number three, and that's where C double bond is going to develop. So if you have to write H, then C double bond O will be on carbon number three. In case this case hydroboration oxidation, boron will be attached to one of the carbon, developing a plus charge on a carbon which is more stable. So in this case also a plus charge will develop on C three, but then in the next step hydride will come out of boron and attack on this carbon. So the plus charge is gone. So now the boron is attached to carbon number two, and later that bond will be broken, and OH will come and form a bond instead. So OH will come on carbon number two actually. So C double bond O is going to develop on carbon number two. So this will be kind of anti Markovnikov addition. So in case of G, C double bond O will be on carbon number two. This will be the product, and in case of H. C double bond O will be on carbon number three. So in that case, this will be the product. So this is G and this is H. If someone asks you what is the relation between G and H, then what will you answer? The, the basic structure is the same. The position of C double bond O seems to be different. So it, this seems to be positional isomer. That is the answer you have to give. G and H are positional isomers. So that's all regarding this conversion problem. We move ahead in learning more methods of preparations of ketones.